Alright, what's up guys? I'm actually trying out this new microphone and camera setup. So obviously before you guys couldn't hear me with the GoPro because that's an external mic and the wind noise is just going to ear rape the shit out of all of you guys. So instead what I did was I picked up a voice recorder and a microphone and it turns out that the voice recorder that I bought was just a pile of shit. So now I'm going to Best Buy right now to return it. And uh, now right now I have my nice little uh, clip-on mic inside my helmet and it's just plugged into my iPhone and uh, well it's uh, hopefully sounding decent so I'm gonna test out a couple different locations I guess you could say for the mic right now I have the mic in the actual cheek rest behind the cushion and I'm hoping that that will kind of cover it from the wind it does have some dead cat like little fur on it so uh, you know it should be doing something hopefully you know logically but I, I you know it's just whatever came with the mic so I actually don't have that much hope for it but uh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna see if, uh, well, if this is a viable option. What happened before was I had the voice recorder and uh, it didn't have adjustable gain. So everything just sounded bass boosted, uh, really, really bass boosted. It was sound clipping a lot and it just, it just sounded overall like shit. So now with the iPhone app, that, it's funny how an app on an iPhone is better than an actual device. You go and buy an actual device and it's a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, honestly. I mean, it looked like straight up just some chinky little like old person voice recorder. But you know, it was like 60 bucks, so I figured that it would be okay. But no, it was, uh, it was a piece of shit. So it's funny though, apps, man, the future. But maybe maybe we could see some ricers on the way too, we'll see. I, I live, well, my parents' house is pretty close to the Best Buy. So that's, you know, I, I don't have that far to go, honestly. Uh, and it is getting dark, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe inside the parking lot we'll see some ricers. Uh, but we'll, we'll just have to find out. We'll have to find out once we get there. And uh, I hope the audio is good right now. I feel like I feel like it is, but I don't know. I honestly have no idea. So we'll see. You know, I'm also not trying to talk too much because I just want to test out the overall audio of the mic and what it picks up. So if I'm talking 24-7, then you're just going to hear me 24-7. If I'm quiet 24-7, then it, I don't know, maybe it'll sound like, well, is this guy really going to try to go? Bro, there's like no room. <laughs> you ain't going. I'm, I'm going to sit back here for when you get T-boned. I am clear out of the impact zone. This guy was really about to go on that shit. Man, you got a, you got a death wish or something. Either that or we got uh, Stevie Wonder over here driving it because, I mean, I could see from behind him. If Stevie Wonder or Helen Keller were driving that, then I would understand, but... Anyone that passed and got their license would know that that's not, a, that's not a wise idea. Let's see, maybe in the parking lot right here we can see some ricers. I don't know, I feel like I feel like they would flock over here. There's no Applebee's, sadly, so they're not going to go get some Applebee's. We got a Chili's, though, I think. I don't know, I haven't been here in a while. We'll see, let's see. We'll, we'll take the long route to uh, to Best Buy over there. It's over. I mean, you guys could probably see it. I don't got to hold your hand through everything, but I also don't want to get hit by some dumbass reversing. Let's see, sometimes I feel like I've been here before and I've seen ricers, but honestly in SoCal everywhere you go you see ricers, so I wouldn't be surprised. I thought they were reversing, so I got a little scared, my heart dropped. Let's see what's over here. Come on, I want to see a tow hook or something. Like some like just something to give me a smile really quick. Well that's nice, but that's not a ricer. But, I mean, it was nice at least. Oh, there's a 5 all right there. And we got a STI right here. It's still nice. I mean, I guess we know whatever. Nice cars are just as good as ricers, I guess. It's just a lot harder to think of a title with a nice car than with a ricer. Ricers are easy, easy content. But anyway, let me go inside really quick. And uh, we'll return this shit. I'll be right back. All right, so... Whoa, I'm missing a... Well, I took out a cheek pad. Got to put that back in. Oops. <laughs> So I went inside and uh, returned it really quick, went really smooth. Uh, it's already a little bit darker. It's starting to get dark earlier. Uh, next month I think the clocks change, so it's going to get dark hella early, which is bad for me because, well, I don't wake up till like 2 p.m. anyway. So, so okay, got my wallet and everything. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, kickstand's down, fucking idiot. Let's go ahead and uh, skedaddle. So. There's no ricers around here. This is sad. Maybe we'll see one on the way back to my parents. Uh, this isn't going to be a very long video. I just really wanted to test out the audio and want to get your guys' input on it. 
But anyway, I hope the audio does sound good because I really want to start recording these types of videos. I feel like it'd be really fun to ride around and uh, vlog on the motorcycle. It, I don't know. It's just, uh, this is what I take usually day to day anyway. So it's like, what are you doing, buddy? All right, make up your mind. No, I'm not going to go for it. I'm not that, I'm not that comfortable taking turns super fast, so I wasn't going to go to it. But anyway, this is what I take, you know, day to day. So I feel like it'd be fun to be able to record on it day to day and have decent audio and, you know, tell you guys my thoughts and shit like that because... I do have some thoughts running through my mind with the Mustang, but I feel like I, I, I know what, what I have to do, but it's like, mm, I don't know, we'll see. So I've had this idea floating around my head for a while, and I'll just ride around so that way I can tell it to you guys, but I'm debating on selling the Mustang. Now hear me out, okay? I know a lot of you guys love that Mustang, I love that Mustang, and I don't really want to sell it, but I've dumped so much money into it, and we're not getting that much power. That it's like okay should i continue dumping money into it or should i just sell it and then buy something that you know is a lot easier to work on like you know aka a corvette of some sort you know you buy a corvette and those things are just they're power horses they're just crazy so personally i think i have to keep it and hear me out now this is just again what's been floating on my mind for a couple days now but i feel like i have to keep it because i've put so much money into it I don't think there's a buyer that would even come close to what I would want for it. It'd be a pretty hard sell. Now, yes, it does have some nice things like, you know, the built motor, the built trans, the brand new Pro Charger, the brand new E85 fuel system. Like, that's all stuff that does add value. Don't get me wrong, okay? It's, it's not an $8,000 car anymore. But at the same time, it's like, it's an 06 Mustang with a gutted interior and an orange wrap and, you know, a Pro Charger and it's loud as shit and it's like... This, it's, it's a very fine market here. We're going to do some illegal shit right here. Sorry, guys. We're doing some illegal stuff, but it's a very fine market. It, it, it's not going to be an easy sell, and I, I don't think, again, I'd get what I want for it. Now, I know I wouldn't be able to get my money back for it. I know that, but I'm going to act like I touched my wallet. Oh, no. I forgot my wallet. Damn it. Got to get out of here. My bad. Completely forgot. Oh, damn. That's fucking guy's hauling ass. But, yeah. I don't think, obviously, I'd get what I want for it. Um, I, I obviously know I wouldn't get my monies back. I mean, that's just what happens when you're modding a car. You get through all this money at your car and you're not going to get it back ever. But I just think it'd be too hard of a sell to actually sell. So I think I just got to kind of keep it and just suck it up. But that kind of sucks. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Because um, it would be nice to have a new car. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I've put so much time and money into this car. that I don't think I could just sell it. Because, you know, time and money is stuff that uh isn't too easy to acquire nowadays but anyway i i do kind of want to hear your guys' thoughts should i just keep building the mustang now i do have a couple mods planned for it because well if i am going to keep it i do want it to go faster than what it is right now i mean it is fast don't get me wrong you know the cars that i was racing and i was losing to those are 700 800 horsepower cars of course i'm going to lose to that type of shit and especially when it's on a corvette it's like, dude, those things are aerodynamic as hell. There's, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to beat it anyway. If I go ahead and, you know, upgrade this Mustang some more, get some more horsepower into it, make it a little bit more aerodynamic friendly and stuff like that. If I do that, that would be worth it. But, you know, what I would do is probably cams and springs, which would be expensive, and put a smaller pulley on and a retune. And I think, I think I should be where I want to be. But again, we're talking another few thousand dollars. I'm not over here. I'm not, I'm not Logan Paul. I'm not shitting money. You know, my channel isn't that big. It is a okay size channel, but it's not, you know, there's no way that I'm, I'm, I'm not rich off of making YouTube videos. That's just not how life works. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, because, you know, I, I obviously do read some of your guys' comments. I obviously can't read all of them, but I am very interested in what you guys think I should do. Don't comment, sell it and buy a Honda. Don't waste your time. I, you know, it is just something that's been floating around my mind. It only has 46,000 miles to the chassis and 41,000 to the motor. So it's like, it's not a high mile Mustang with a Pro Charger bolted on. It's a low mile car with a bunch of goodies on it. But again, it's like, it's a very niche market. It's a very small market. So let me know what you guys think. I do like your guys' input and uh, it does mean a lot. But uh, keep building the Mustang or sell it. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, anyway, let me go home, make sure this audio sounds pretty good. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. Hashtag sell the Mustang. Hashtag keep the Mustang. Pick a side. Choose a team. Until next video, peace. Oh, there's that Beamer we saw at Best Buy. See? I would not buy one of those, though, because that's a money pit.
and I mean, I did gap an M6. Also guys, if any of you guys know how I can fix my audio to make it sound a bit better, maybe clean it up a little bit, maybe get rid of the clipping noises that you heard here and there, uh, I think that was just the gain. I have the gain turned all the way down, but I think maybe I need to relocate the mic somewhere else in the helmet because whenever I guess it clipped it, it would just start doing that. So I cannot go on a freeway and you know talk, sadly, but uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, give me any pointers. Thank you.